Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, sets will be used for array functionality in Python. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning Python course and learning PHP course. Arrays are indexed as lists in rows and columns. Sets are unordered, unchangeable, and do not allow duplicate members. The jumboshop.com learning Python course web IDE can be used for this tutorial. Jumboshop.com learning Python course inspired this tutorial. Python can be compiled from source at GitHub. Python can be installed from downloaded binaries. Uh, we use NetBeans as the IDE for Python. But as I mentioned before, you can use the web IDE. So let's begin. So for sets, you have to use the curly braces, not the square one. those ones. So I'll create some data here. Okay, then of course I'll print it out. Then we can run it and you can see it prints out exactly what I my data set. So then we can use some built in sets of functionality for Python. We use length to get the number of items in the in our set. So this is for the number of items in set and we should have three. Oh, what mistake? Oh, fruits. And we have three here. If you want to add something, we just put fruits dot add. We use the add function. Orange. So we add add item to set. So now we should have four. Oh, I forgot to print it out. Yeah, so now we have four, one, two, three, four. If we want to, uh, if we want to combine two sets, we can I'll create a new variable called fruits two. We can use the curly braces. Let's say pine apple comma mango and then we use fruits dot update fruits two so what this will do is it will add items from another set of course we need to print out fruits again and as you can see here we combined uh, whatever was it basically we appended the fruits 2 into fruits 1 and as you can see the, the pineapple and cranberry was combined Okay, so the next thing we want to do is if we need to remove something, like for example, if we want to remove pineapple, we we'll simply say fruits dot remove pineapple. So this will remove item from set. Okay, so we need to print it so you can see it. And you see pineapple has been removed from the set. Now, if we want, we can also, instead of removing, we can also do a discard. So we just say fruits dot discard. And we want to discard pineapple. So this will print fruits. 
So this word, what does this, this discards item from set. And as you can see here, it did <coughs> discard it. Okay, then if you want to remove everything in the set, you simply use fruits.clear, use the clear function. So this will remove all items. Now if I print this, you will notice something interesting. It, it's, there's nothing, it, because it, it removed everything. The set is completely empty. If I create a set and I create some new variables, I, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, create a new variable. Oh. The first variable is called set1. Second variable will be called set2. I don't need to quote this one because they're numeric, uh, the values. Then what I can do, I can do a union. I can say set1.union set2. And what this does is it creates a new set, set 3, with all items from bo both sets. So if we print set 3, we should get a uh, we should get these values and these values into set 3. And there you go. A A B B C C uh, 1 1 2 2 and 3 3. As usual, you can get the full article, written article, at ojumbo.com slash python hyphen array hyphen set. As you can see here, these are all the common set functions. You can find all this in the ojumboshop.com learning python course. You can expand to get the code snippet that we use today. And here is a screenshot from uh, NetBeans of everything we did so far today. And here's the output. And this is the video you're watching right now. Of course, uh, if you want the lear learning Python course or the learning PHP course, you can get both at ojumboshop.com slash learning hyphen Python. That's for the learning Python course. Remember, until the end of 2024, you can use promo code SCHOOL to get up to 20% off. And uh, as you can see here, you have the built-in web IDE and the output to comp you can compile it. And as you know, Python is very popular. It can be used for AI, machine language, robotics, uh, web applications, and much, much, much more, including scripting. And as for PHP, it's the same process as well. There's a built-in web IDE. You can uh, you enter your information there. There's a the code input here, and then you can compile it. You see the output immediately. And uh, PHP is also po is very popular for scripting, especially for the web. So the popular, um, one of the most popular platforms, WordPress, is built in PHP. If you prefer to learn at your uh, on your own, uh, meaning you have to install your own Python, use your favorite IDE. Uh, you can also get the ebooks. The ebooks are available at Amazon for both Python and PHP. You all you simply do is you go to your Amazon store and you just type in my name, Erodo Jumbo, and you you'll be able to see right here. You can get the learning Python ebook, programming ebook. It's free if you have Kindle uh, Unlimited or else you just purchase it. And also, uh, you can also get the learning PHP programming ebook by Eroro Jumbo uh, for your Kindle or any other uh, reader. We go back here. If you want, the, all the references are here, the learning Python course, learning PHP course, ebooks on Amazon, and if you go to jumboservices.com, 
what you notice is that if you need help with uh, if you need help with software or programming of individual tutorial sessions for you online uh, if you need a web application, for example, uh, software created for your Mac or iOS or Microsoft Windows, Google Android, Linux, or any other major platforms, I can help you with that. It be programmed in Python, PHP, HTML5, JavaScript, Java, C, C++, Rust. Uh, look out for upcoming C and Rust uh, courses. And of course, if you just need a new website or you want to migrate a website to a different platform or you need uh, help with your database, maybe you've been hacked, you want to recover, I can help you with that. Maybe you want to just uh, extend it. You want to implement an e-commerce solution or logistics. You want them to be it a third party or it's your own. You want to roll your own, I can help you with that as well. So that's, and of course, how to contact you. If you're in North America, you can use this toll-free number. If you want a direct dial, you use this number. Or you can also go to the contact page, fill in your information, and we'll get back to you within a day. Thank you.